Okay, so we're at part three because I got interrupted by my alarm. All right, sorry about that. I'm not taping the video again. I'm too, I'm too tired. I got too much to do. And we're trying to all learn here. Okay, so what I did here again is I, I used a shortcut that I learned, and that is a negative exponent in a fraction is in its wrong location. If I'm in the numerator, I should be in the denominator. If this is a negative exponent, it's in the denominator. If I'm in the denominator, I should be in the numerator. And I can only do that within the same fraction, but it does work quite nicely. Okay, there's easier ways to see things that are going to happen later on, but I can't get to those specifics. This, of course, is the reason why this works. Oops, sorry. Where's my scrap paper? Haha. -ha. This is, of course, the reason why it works. Okay, 3 to the 7 and, and 2 to the 3. Okay, I take 2 to the negative 3, 3 to the negative 3. That's 1 over 2 to the 3, and that's 1 over 3 to the 7. And then I take that fraction and divide it by that fraction. And then I reverse, or sorry, I multiply by the reciprocal, so I flip that, right? and I make it multiply. Multiply the numerators, multiply the denominators, and I end up with this result. Okay? It may take you a little bit of time to get used to that. Maybe you don't like that shortcut. Maybe it doesn't resonate with you. Maybe you look at it and you're like, ah, that's not for me. That's cool. Okay? You deal with it however you want to deal with it, but that is one thing that I found has worked. Okay? The last thing that I do want to go over with you, because it's a little bit of a quirk, is the idea of what a power speaks to. A power always speaks to the thing that it's immediately beside. It's applied to the thing it's immediately beside. This 6 is next to this bracket, which means it's negative 2 times 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 negative 2. It's the whole bracket multiplied by itself 6 times. Okay? Now, the overall result is going to be positive because a negative times a negative and a negative times a negative and a negative times a negative. If it's an even exponent, it's going to be positive. However, then it's 2 to the 6 as well. And so it ends up being a positive 64. If I take negative 2 to the 6, the 6 only applies to what it's immediately beside. So that's 2 to the 6. 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. It's not negative 2 times 2. No, it's beside a 2. So it's 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. That's who it speaks to. That's what it's abbreviating. It's abbreviating I multiply what I'm beside 6 times. This negative is in essence a negative 1 or a negative just coefficient, I suppose. But it is a negative 1. So that means I take 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, 64, and this ends up being a negative result, even though this is an even exponent. Don't just think even exponents mean positive. If the even exponent is applied to the whole thing, including the, the negative sign, yeah, okay, then it's going to be positive. But if it's not, then it's negative, okay? The exponent only affects what it's immediate beside. So this is a 5. That's going to be negative 2 times negative 2 times negative 2 times negative 2. Oops, times negative 2. Okay? Negative times negative times negative times negative times negative is a negative. Odd number exponent, negative. And then 2 times 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 32. Okay? Multiplying all the 2's together. This is going to be negative 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. It only speaks to the 2 that it's right beside. If you want to put a negative 1 in there because it means more to you, that's fine. I just see the negative out front, and I know it's a negative exponent. So this is a negative 32. Now, this negative 32 and this is negative 32 are correct, but this is different from this. It's just because it works out to be the same result doesn't mean that being lucky is being good. I always say it's, not, it's better to be good than it is to be lucky. Okay? If you're lucky, you're not really good which means you're not consistent. You've got to count on fate to give you the right answer. You don't want fate to give you the right answer. You want to be good. You want your brain to know what the right answer is and to get it right for the right reason at all times. Now, negative 2 to the 0. That's an interesting one. It's negative 2 to the 0, which is just 1. And it's negative 1. Now, this negative 2 to the 0, anything raised to the power of 0, is 1. Now, to write that out, I should write that out using negative 2s. That's like negative 2 over 2. Or 2 squared over 2 squared. Or 2 to the 3 over 2 to the 3. Anyway, that's just one example of how this works. And this is like negative 2 over negative 2. And so that's why it equals 1. Okay? Because the negative applies to both of them. So now I have a negative 2 to the negative 4. Okay? Now, the negative is out front. Then I've got my 2 to the negative 4. So I go 1 over 2 to the 4. That is something different. 
In fact, if I wanted to do it in two steps, suppose I could. I could go negative 2 to the negative 4, which is negative 1 over 2 to the 4, which is, that's a 4, which is negative 1 over 16, which is negative 1 over 16. Okay? Negative 2 to the negative 4 is 1 over negative 2 to the 4, which is 1 over negative 2 times negative 2 times negative 2 times negative 2. I'm not going to write it out because, well, I guess I could, I guess I could do it. It's annoying. I'm getting lazy. I shouldn't get too lazy. Okay, which is 1 over, da, 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 that's going to be positive. It's 16, so it's a positive 1 over 16. Again, a negative to an even exponent, even if it's a negative exponent, still makes it a positive result. Okay? But it has to be the whole thing, the whole base. Again, an exponent is only applied to the number expression it's immediate beside it. If it's beside a bracket, it applies to everything within it. Homework, boop, have fun.